Hello students and welcome back to standard 9th mathematics digital class. Today we will solve practice set 3.1 of chapter 3 polynomials. The first question is state whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomials justify. So now here the first question is y plus 1 upon y and we have to find out whether it is a polynomial or not. Now y plus 1 by y can be written as y plus now 1 upon y means y raised to power negative 1. So as the power of y is negative 1 that is it is not a whole number and therefore therefore the given algebraic expression is not a polynomial. So we can write no it is not a polynomial and what is the reason because index of y is in 1 by y is negative 1. Okay. Let's solve question number 2. Question is 2 minus 5 root x which is equal to 2 minus 5. Root x means x raised to power 1 by 2. Now here again the index of x is 1 by 2 which is not a whole number and therefore the answer is no it is not a polynomial because index of x in the term Five root x is one by two. That is, it is not a whole number. Let's solve question number three. Question is x square plus seven x plus nine. Now check the index of each term of this algebraic expression. The index of first term is two. Index of second term is one. And for third term it is 0. So as the index of each term of this algebraic expression is a whole number. Therefore it is a polynomial. So we can directly write it is a polynomial. Now we will solve question number 2. Write the coefficient of m cube in each of the given polynomial. Now here the first one is m cube. Now what is the number multiplied to m cube here? The number here is 1. So its coefficient is 1. So we can say coefficient is equal to 1. Okay. Let's solve question number 2. The question is negative 3 by 2 plus m minus root 3 m cube. We have to find the coefficient of m cube. So here the number multiplied to m cube is negative root 3 and therefore coefficient is equal to is equal to negative root 3. Okay. Okay. Let's solve question number 3. Write the polynomial in x using the given information. So first question is monomial with degree 7. Monomial means a polynomial with one term and its degree should be 7. Okay. And here we have to use the variable x. So you can write any 
but there should be only one term. So, for example, negative eight x raised to power seven. Second question is binomial with degree thirty-five. Binomial means a polynomial with two terms, and the highest index should be thirty-five. So, the polynomial or a binomial can be three x raised to power thirty-five minus seven x. So. This is a binomial with degree thirty-five. Here, the highest power or index is thirty-five. Okay, so it is a binomial with degree thirty-five. Right. The question number four is write the degree of the given polynomial. So here, the first question is root five. Now, root five. is a constant polynomial and degree of any non zero constant polynomial is zero so here the degree of root 5 this polynomial is zero okay let's see second question question number 4 root 2 m raised to power 10 minus 7 Here the highest index of m is ten, and therefore the degree of this polynomial is ten. Let's check question number seven. So it's a polynomial in more than one variable. So it has three variables x, y, and z. Let's find out the degree of this polynomial. Now here, the power of x, so x y z plus x y minus z. So here, the power of x is one, power of y is one, power of z is one. Okay. So here, for the first term, sum of powers is. Is equal to here. It's one plus one plus one. That is one plus one plus one equals to three. For second term, the sum of powers is equal to one plus one, which is two. And for the third term, negative z. The sum of powers is one because only z is there. Now, the highest sum of powers is three, and therefore the degree of given polynomial. I hope you have understood all the solved problems. Thank you.